wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought Good morning everyone! So this is a bit of a chaotic morning but I really want to start vlogging today because we, well, me and my stepsister are off to have a look at some secondhand furniture, which is super exciting. Um, had a bit of a chaotic morning. I've been filming recipes all morning and I'm boiling hot, even though it's pretty cold outside. Just trying to get myself sort of a bit more presentable to leave the house. Also been on the phone to UPS for the best part of half an hour. Um, and now I'm getting ready and I'm drinking my breakfast at the same time. But good morning. Hope you're all doing well. It's Monday today. It's a bit of a weird Monday, usually like I'm have Monday at my desk all day. But I actually thought it would be better to try and sort, um, well, not sort, go and have a browse around the furniture shop on a date that's not super busy. Um, you know, well, for obvious reasons, obviously it's nice for shopping when it's not super busy. I've been in this outfit today and I quite like it, but I can't tell whether I look very like granny. I'm wearing cream and brown with the new New Balance trainers that I told you about in my last video. And I will actually show you it in a second. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm like absolutely convinced by it, but I do actually really like the trousers. I just don't know how to style them because I would usually go in and try and style brown with black probably or white. Um, but there's something about cream and, cream and brown, which is very like uh, grandparents-y sort of thing, which don't know if that's like quite the vibe we're going for. And then we're heading off to, I think there are about three or four furniture shops that I really want to go to. I quite fancy upcycling a lamp or a bedside table or whatever. This is the outfit. So I've got this little cream knit on, which was from And Other Stories, maybe a couple of years ago. And um, these brown trousers, which I actually really love the fit of. And then the New Balance trainers. And then the other thing I've got is this little bag which I actually think really makes the outfit, which is my stepsisters, which I have borrowed. Um, and I actually love it, I actually wore it yesterday as well. And I really wanna get myself a cool kind of vintage leather bag that's the same sort of style as this, because I feel like I can deal with this from a practical standpoint. So the first place we went to was this really random shopping center and I actually found a charity shop, which we were looking for furniture in and found this scarf for just two pounds. So I bought that. I bought it a lot already, so it was a great purchase. I found this secondhand furniture shop online and it actually had some really great pieces in. Not the cheapest ever, but some really beautiful pieces. And that first one, I actually really considered buying. And I'm still kicking myself as to why I didn't buy both pieces that I ended up finding. And then that is the piece of furniture that I actually ended up buying. Although I didn't pay that much for it, I actually got 10 pounds knocked off it. We went to a few more shops that day. They had loads of cute trinket things, but just nothing that really Really stood out to me or anything that I really needed. I'd remember that Wilco's was really good for paint and just general supplies so we headed in there, picked up those bits and later that day my dad came back to the shop with me and we picked up the piece of furniture which I had reserved earlier. Good morning everyone! So I'm just with my mum. Say hey! Oh you look so pretty! Um, we're actually kind of matching today as well in our beige coats. Um, we are going furniture sort of shopping. So my mum is actually an interior designer and she's been doing, you've been doing sort of a different job for the last couple of years, but all to do with design still, but more specializing in tiles. And she is now getting back into doing interior design with her own clients again. And she needs to kind of find new places to source things for clients. And I'm gonna get loads of inspo at the same time. So we have come into Manchester. I don't go shopping in Manchester that often, but we are gonna go to Stockton's. We've actually just got to the car park here. Um, and there's another place you want to go to, isn't there as well? Form. We're going to go to Form. Form. Form Lifestyle. Form Lifestyle. And thought we'd take you along and see if there's anything sweet. interesting. Be careful with my heart, oh 
Good morning, guys. So I'm just balancing you on a parcel. Um, but I'm just off to the post office to send back a, well, some returns, but also lots of my accomplished orders. Um, got we're really living on the edge here. I feel like you are about to fall off. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I've spoken about it on my channel before, but I have a brand called Accomplish and we've got two products at the moment. So one are resistance bands for the gym. Um, they're, in my opinion, the best ones ever. I completely designed them myself. I also have a notebook as well, which is made from recycled paper um, and printed with vegetable inks and everything like that. Made in the UK, yeah, from 95% recycled materials. I worked on the notebook for no joke about a year. <laughs> get it right but long story short I'm going to send some orders this morning and it is a frosty day it's honestly so cold so later on this day I went to a furniture shop on the other side of Manchester with my dad I actually found these four chairs which were great again I'm kicking myself I didn't buy them and I should have gone back because they were only 55 pounds I actually did buy two more decorative items which I forgot to get a clip of but I'm sure you will see them in some future videos today is upcycle day as you've seen in some other footage i think i showed when i actually picked this out earlier in the week this is the piece of furniture we are working with so i love this i feel like you've got to use your imagination a bit it's not in oh, it's in okay condition there are a lot of bit, bits on it that are a bit damaged i don't know how well the camera is actually picking this up i just thought this was such an interesting slightly unusual sort of sideboard piece I love this little detail with the tassel. Um, I've actually bought another tassel to replace that pink one with. I love how interesting this piece is. So these are actually fake drawers. They don't open. I do really like the hardware on these drawers though. And then this is the bit that I love because I just think that this is, first of all, I just think it's quite unusual, but I love how much storage is in this. It's actually a really, really deep, large amount of storage, more than you would get if this was just drawers. So I actually went to Wilco's to source some paint that I wanted to use on this project. Now I know a really popular furniture kind of upcycle paint is the Annie Sloan chalk paint. And I think this is supposedly like a cheap version of it. I chose the color soft putty. Um, and yeah, we'll see how this goes. It says chalky finish, quick dry. I think it's gonna be great. And then I read the instructions on the back of the tin and I bought some stain blocker primer, but I am actually gonna sand my piece down first. I bought some, I've actually already opened it because I tried to use it on something yesterday. I bought this medium sandpaper in 120 grit. So I have a proper outfit that I would be okay with getting loads of paint on. So I'm wearing Elliot's jumper, one that he said I could use because he's got two of. And um, I've turned these tracksuit bottoms inside out. So yeah, if I do get paint on them, at least you won't be able to see it. So I've sanded the top. And I'm almost finished with this side. And you can actually tell the difference. Don't know if it's picking up that well on camera, but it does look a lot lighter. To be honest, I actually don't mind it um, in this kind of color wood, but I just think the color that I've bought to paint it with is gonna look so beautiful. But I realized when I come to the front, I wanted to take these off. So I've gone and grabbed my last toolbox and I'm hoping there'll be a screwdriver of appropriate size. I just realized that I've got varnish sanded varnish all over my face um this is perfect size but they are just not coming undone like i cannot for the life of me get these undone and i think someone has sort of like varnished over them um so what i'm gonna do before i sand the front is google ways to or youtube ways to polish up brass handles and try and do that before i paint it Right, so all the sanding is done and I've used some wood filler because there was, there was a bit of damage and I think they'd filled it previously. We just filled it again and sanded it. It's all smooth, I'm ready to go. 
So we're gonna go in with this stain blocker primer in white. So I started by applying this with a brush and then quickly realized that it was gonna give me a much smoother finish if I applied it with a roller. Basically use the brush on the more delicate areas and then use the roller on more of the larger flat surfaces. And it went on really well and I was happy with the result. I did toy with the idea of doing two coats of primer but I decided to just stick with the one. <laughs> It's been a long day. Not that I've done anything apart from painting, but it has actually really taken out of me and I feel cold. Like that room I was doing it in is so cold. And like I really need a bath and just soak some of this paint off. My skin just feels so dry. I've decided to run a bath. I never have baths. I actually have really restless in baths. Um, and I'm gonna put in a load of these Dr. Teals. I love Dr. Teals and these are the Epsom salts, which I've used multiple times before. I used to have loads of them at my flat in London. And I'm gonna have a bit of a, like a mini pamper session. I'm gonna use this, which leaves my hair really, really soft. But this is from Phyto Paris. This is my face wash that I use. It's the Paula's Choice one, the Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. I love it because I've got really dry skin. I'm also gonna use this SkinCeuticals Phyto Corrective Mask. Um, which I don't use very often because I'm a bit impatient with face masks. And I'm also going to take some of my PhD Rest Nighttime Support, which I'm trying to remember to take every night because it's got some really great things in, such as magnesium, um, which also help you sleep. We're having a bit of an impromptu self-care evening with a lovely bath. So this morning is off to a good start because dad managed to get the handles and all the screws off. Um, dad to the rescue because I could not do it. Um, and I'm gonna soak them properly because they do, even though I'm not too unhappy with them at the moment, they look, kind of look like just a bit aged, don't they? But actually, if they would come up a lot more sort of goldy, brassy color, I'd be very happy with that. I've got some bicarb, some bicarb, some vinegar, which we had in the house anyway. And I've read somewhere that actually if you put a bit of salt in, that would be better. I just gave the handles and the screws a really good brush with a wire scrubber, I think that's what it's called, and they came out so well. I can't wait to show you the clip of this because they just look so seriously good. And I made a start on the first coat, so I mainly used the roller, but then on the more delicate areas, as I did with the undercoat, I used the brush as well, and I was really happy with how it turned out even after the first layer second coat that I did it was actually dark outside so I didn't bother filming but this is me just doing some touch-ups and kind of a third layer more just sort of going over a few bits that needed going over again in hindsight I probably should have just done a full third coat on it just because I think I did leave it a tiny bit patchy this video has so many good mornings and different days in it, but it's another morning today, so good morning. Last time I did coats on this piece of furniture, it was actually dark and I didn't know whether I was gonna need to do a few touch-ups when it was next light. So when I came in yesterday, I intended to finish the video, but there were just a few bits I could have done with doing a little bit of an extra coat on. So I actually did that yesterday and today, we're gonna be adding a really exciting finishing touch and then we're done. So I don't know if you remember this pink tassel, that was attached to the key when I bought the piece of furniture. And I thought it was a really cute detail, but it just wasn't really to my liking. So this is what I've changed it to. So I found this gorgeous beige tassel on Etsy. I actually bought a beige one and a cream one, and I just thought I'd see which one looked better. Probably needs a little bit of brushing out. But I've gone with a beige one for now, because I just think it works really well with how light this is. I actually didn't realize that this was gonna come out quite as light as it is, it definitely didn't look as light on the um, pot of paint. But yeah, I just think this is a nice contrast. And this is the final product. I am over the moon. It has come out so, so well. I think it just looks, it looks like a completely different piece of furniture. I can't believe how gold we've managed to get the handles. I just think they look fabulous. The only thing I haven't done is um, put the screws the whole way in. So please ignore that. I just think they look so shiny, but also aged at the same time. And I love the chalky finish on this. I'm unsure as to whether to put a top coat on at the moment. May have to do that at a later date. Please ignore the amount of junk behind it. I just think it's such an unusual piece. I'm so happy with it, but it just now needs a really beautiful new home because it's gonna be sat in here for a little while. Also, this key is actually a working key. Not that there would really be any need to 
you know, lock this. And then she had some treasure hidden in here. I actually opted not to paint the inside. If I do end up using this in a future home, it's probably gonna be filled. And then I think it will scrape the paint off the wood anyway. So yeah, I tried to keep this as neat as possible. There are little bits, um, I didn't have any masking tape throughout this project. So the little bits that I've just gone over slightly, but you know, this is the inside. You're never gonna be able to see it. But yeah, I am just so happy with it. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little upcycle project. I've had so much fun doing this and it's really inspired me and I really wanna go back to that same shop because they had lots of other pieces of furniture that we definitely could also have a little go at upcycling. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you do wanna stick around and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.